Shalom, beloved. A word. Before we begin this message, we have to give honor to the Most High on this Shabbat. May he bless us and keep us. May he make his face to shine upon us. And in all our ways, give us peace. Yahoo of our ancestors, Yahoo of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We ask that you bless and anoint this message as we glorify, honor, and praise you this day and forevermore. We ask that you go in and heal our people and heal the land before us. We ask that you prepare a place for us that we may leave this land of our captivity and go home and you, the angel of the Lord, lead us. Just as you did when we left the first Egypt. Father, we glorify you this day. We speak as one nation, blessing, praising, and honoring you. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, your living word, and giving honor to the Ruach HaKadosh, your glorious and holy spirit. Cleanse us, bless us, and anoint us as we praise you, Father. In the mighty name of Yeshua, amen. Yes, beloved, there is a question. There is a question that need answering because even the question has an answer. Why doth the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. Yes, beloved, against the Lord. And against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. But he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Yes, why do they rage because the truth is coming out? Why do the people imagine a vain thing to think? They can stop the command and the covenant of the Most High Yahuwah. And he shall laugh them to scorn. He shall have them in derision. What, beloved, is derision? Do we see these prophetic truths coming to pass? What is derision? Mockery, ridicule, jeering, sneers, scoffing, jibing, taunts. Are there people who are being exposed as liars? Hmm. You determined that one. Why doth he rage? Because the truth is coming out about who Yasharel is. There's no sound about the evils of not hearing the word of the Most High giving honor in the public arena. We don't hear that rage. No, no, no. They want to make money. We don't hear the rage of the heathen about the shedding of innocent blood. No, no, no. We don't hear the heathen raging about that. Mm -mm. And the people imagining a vain thing. You know how vain you have to be to set yourself against the almighty Yahuwah. It's a vain thing. Mm. And the kings of the earth have set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. Yes, yes, yes. Against Yahuwah. You see, they cannot try to keep this truth hidden unless they are against Yahuwah. Those who say they are Jews and are not. That is against the Most High when they try to hide his anointed, when they try to deny truths, truths that are historically supported, scripturally supported, and eternally true. Mm. They want to break our bands asunder. We want to make you apologize for telling the truth. We want to make you admit a lie that never existed. Yes, 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 yes. But he that sits in the heaven shall laugh. How? And he shall have them 
in derision. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a David and Goliath on you. He's going to laugh. You know, when Yahuwah goes against armies of enemies of Yashoreth, many times to show his power. He doesn't use the carnal weapons of man. He uses small things to let them know he is powerful in all things. Whether it's a little or a lot, he is all in all. How so, beloved? We have the world heathen standing in the stead of Goliath. Yes, yes, yes. Challenging the armies of Yashoreth. Mm -hmm. Dishonoring the Most High. Mm -hmm. But you see, Yeshua, his word of life, that, that living stone, <clears throat> he is the cornerstone, the one that the builders rejected. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see, he took his people, those people who were heavy laden, those people who were oppressed, and he turned his people into a David, and he handed them a stone. Although the heathens of the world brought their greatest fighters, their greatest engines of war to go up against Yasharel, thinking them weak and small and insignificant. Yes, yes, yes. And Yasharel went and got this beautiful stone that they put in their hands. They went to a brook because that stone came out of living waters. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. You see, even Yasharel themselves, we are lively stones, uh, built up a spiritual house. Yes, 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 a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yah by Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes, yes, yes. You see, we took up a stone, beloved. As Yahuwah laughs them to scorn and has them in derision, he put us in the place of David. Yes, yes, yes. He put us and put these heathens in the stead of Goliath. He made us lively living stone. But you see, even in the midst of that, there is a chief cornerstone, beloved. There is a chief cornerstone which the builders, that the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. That stone is in the hand of Yashoreth. And the heathens, the world's heathens, standing at Goliath with their engines of war, they don't understand that they have dishonored the Most High. They have tried to make his words, his laws, and his commands a lie. Mm. Yes, 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 they have defiled the temple. But why do they rage? Hmm. He has taken us and put us in the stead of David. All oh, Yasharel has become David, facing this heathenistic Goliath. We those living stones. Yes, yes, yes. That came out of living waters. Mm -hmm. And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had even in a script. And his sling was in his hand and he drew near to the Philistine, that uncircumcised heathen. Mm, mm, mm. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. Hmm, let's look up disdain, beloved. He disdained him. Yes, let's look up and see what disdain means. The feeling that someone or something is unworthy of one's consideration or respect. Mm, contempt. You see, because Yasharel has been 
oppressed, held down, in prison, captive for so long. Those who, those identity thieves and those who support them for those carnal reasons, that love of money that they have, they have disdained Yashua. Mm -hmm. They have that feeling that someone or something is unworthy of one's consideration or respect. We don't want you to know who you are. We want you to hush up. <clears throat> they have disdain, just like that heathen Goliath, beloved. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. For he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. Okay. And the Philistines said unto him, and I, am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? Mm. And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Those no gods. You see, they think that they can curse Yasharel by the means and methods that they have always used. But what they don't understand is the curse has moved into reverse and the blessing is upon Yasharel. For we have turned to Yahuwah and those of us who are waking up are turning and seeking and asking Yahuwah to bring us out of this unholy people. Mm, mm. And the Philistine said to David, come to me and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beast of the field. Mm. Then David said to the Philistines, thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts. Yes, Yahuwah Saboeth, mm, the God of the armies of Israel. Whom thou has defied. Yes, yes, yes. You see, some people think that this is only about flesh and blood wrangling with one another. No, beloved. No, no, no. They have defied Yahuwah. They think themselves powerful enough to challenge what his word says. His living word. Mm -hmm. Remember the cornerstone that the builders rejected. Wait a minute. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee, and will give thy carcass to the host of the Philistines. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know. That there is a Yahuwah in Israel. Yes, yes, yes. You see, there are people who don't believe. They think nothing is going to happen. But they don't understand the prophetic. No, beloved. We will continue. Mm. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear. It doesn't matter about their engines of war. It doesn't matter how big they are. Yes, yes, yes. For the battle, this battle, beloved, come on now, is the Lord. And he will give you, heathen, Goliath, into our hands. Yes, yes, yes. And it will come to pass. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew right to meet and drew nigh to meet David, that David ran, he hastened and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. Mm. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slung it and smote the Philistine in his forehead. That the salt, the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. He fell face down to the earth. He's going to give honor. All knees shall bow. All knees shall bow. Yes, yes. He didn't just bend his knee to the power of Yahuwah. 
he gave it all. He fell prostrate. Yes, yes, yes. With a sm a stone, beloved, a smooth stone that came out of a book, a book of living water, a book filled with faith. When David reached his hands in, yes, yes, yes. You see, Yasharel threw a stone against the engine of the Philistines, these heathens who want to quiet Yasharel up. No, no, no. They're bringing engines of war. Engines of war have many facades, beloved. What do I mean? They may try to use a media machine. They may try to quiet Yasharel. They may put out stories about it being a lie when the whole world knows. The truth is shining through. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. Let me finish. And he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the, over the Philistine with the sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Mm -hmm. Therefore, David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword. You see the words they use, the thing they tried to use to prop up a lie, that sword, come on now, and drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. Many of us right now, we are living stones. You see, there are some who have been grafted in. Yes, 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 to that living tree. But you see, some of them are boasting mm -hmm, against the natural branches that were broken off, but are being grafted back in. But what does his word say? <laughs> Thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root bear thee. You see, Yasharel was asleep, but now she's waking up. And that stone that David threw, that stone of truth, that stone of faith, they have brought their greatest engine of war, but it does no good. Why? Why? You see, one man did one thing. And all the world is arguing against him. And the question is, why doth the heathen rage? And the people imagine it's a vain thing. Yes, yes, yes. And you see, even though they had disdain for us, we do not approach with man's carnal weapons of war. No, beloved. No, no, no. We stand on faith. We are standing with that cornerstone, the rock, the stone that the builders rejected is in our hand. It's a stone of truth. It is so precise that it moves, powered by the, the Lord Almighty himself, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. And he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Yes, beloved, yes, yes, yes. And to conclude, you see, beloved, we are the light of the world. They are in darkness and have been in darkness. But as we praise and glorify the Most High, the world is waking up to the light of the truth of who Yahuwah is, his power, his glory, the true praise that he deserves and who his people are, beloved. Yes, all over the world, our little lights are shining. Yes, beloved, these living stones that we have. And as we go forth this day, we shall let our light shine wherever we go. Because we know that we are sanctioned by the Most High. He took a little stone. He ran up against this heathenistic Goliath system and blew their minds. 
their engines of war have no power. And with their own sword, with their own sword, they shall fall. We move in faith, beloved. Why doth the heathen, heathen rage? Yes, beloved. It is a word. Shabbat shalom.